Good evening, folks. Welcome to the adventures of Bert Ram Fiddle, Episodes 1. A dreadly business. The settings are sound effects, subtitles, but no music that interferes sometimes with the way I talk. Some games have beautiful music. Other games, I don't know. I don't know the music in this game's good or not. I'm actually just starting. This is completely blind, which means I'll probably completely fail. But I wanted to try something fun. Not that the other games I play aren't fun, but, you know, uh, Silent 103, I'm starting to get frustrated with the Royal Air Force. Uh, King of Dragon Pass, I'm getting frustrated with my own clan. <clears throat> and of course, Under Rail, I'm just frustrated. So we're going to try this new game. It's a game set in Victoria, England. Mystery game with a lot of puns and humor. From my understand, it's about six hours long. Actually, I heard somebody say three hours long. It depends on how much you do, how fast you go, so on and so forth. At most, that's at least 12 episodes, which is a nice short game for YouTube. And Sophie and I can play and have fun. So let us try. All right. No, let's try a new game. That was me testing out how things worked. So we're going to do... A new game, we're going to use slot one. Yes. Because I had no progress. And here I am. Pygmies! Ah, yes. Damn time machine! It's not a time machine. I can't see a thing! Well, then open the window. There you go. Ah, that's better! What a beautiful day! Only a mild smattering of pigeons. Well, go to the bathroom. Ugh. I wouldn't look in there if I were you. I'm not telling you to look in there. I want you to use the restroom. Ugh. I wouldn't look in there if I were you. All right. Well, you're going to have problems later on. Uh, but if you're going to hold it, I guess you're going to have to hold it all day. <clears throat> Don't they have plumbing? Hmm. That's better. Yes. Well. I guess there's nothing else here, so let's go out. Gavin must have left this rag out when he cleaned the photomographs. I ought to tidy it up. Yes. Let's look here. Me being chased by a giant man-eating tortoise. I've never been so mildly afraid in all my life. What a tedious death that would have been. Hmm. All right. Take that. Now we have inventory. Inventory. Yes. Gavin, my trusty manservant and I, in the Peruvian jungle. He's a cyclops. Strong as an ox, but terrible depth perception. Okay. Last year's trip to the center of the earth. Got a lovely tan. All right. This is as far as I got last time. This chair. Ha <laughs> ha! My Stanley steam lift. It makes traversing these cumbersome stairs a breeze. Seems to be a little stuck. <laughs> Blasty pile of rubbish! This is as far as I got last time. This looks like some Where's sort Gavin? of. He should be here to hand me my telegrams. Well. Let's take it. Gigantic diamond? Sounds legitimate. Yeah, let, let's read this first. Dear sir or madam, they don't even know who you are. If that's a bad, that's a bad opening if they don't know who you are. 
just to say. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Prince Embudi. And since the death of my dear father, I have come into possession of an incredibly large, valuable diamond. I require your assistance to bring it to London, and I'm willing to pay you some of 100 pounds in return for your urgent helpings. I wait your reply. Oh, this is a scam. All right. Mm. I've been telegram spammed. Yes. Make your eyes, make your wife's eyes go counterclockwise. You won't believe the improved satisfaction. It's all to purchasing, Mr. What? Oh. Uh huh. <gasps> a message from Lord Arthwipe. Maybe he has news of an adventure. Fiddle, I have an error for you. Come to my house on Hemlock Street by noon. Lord Hemwipe. Okay. Sir, is that you? Yeah. Have uh, you locked yourself in again, Gavin? Okay. Good morning, Mr. Fidel. Ah, there you are, Gavin. Where have you been? I was just, uh, deflating the Zeppelin, sir. I did not hear you walk down the stairs. Did you sleep well? Unfortunately not. It was a restless night, embothered by some strange dreams. My mind craves adventure. And without it, I fear I'm going quite mad. It's been two months without the slightest expedition. I'm becoming a little worried. What shall I do if I can't do my adventurings? Do not fear, sir. There is an old Peruvian saying. The forest is full of trees. Hmm. Quite. That's kind of weird. My grandfather had a massive clock. Right. Uh, I was actually trying to see the time. I'm assuming it's actually uh, not time to go yet, but whatever. Okay. I'm writing my autobiography. A fiddle here and there. It is a more scripting read, sir. Okay. Do you have, like, guns, or...? Yeah. A rather cheeky specimen? Get the gun. I shot my first Yeti with that. Nearly lost my moustache in the process. Okay. Just some artifacts I picked up on my travels. My prized possession. An actual Tyrannosaur arm bone. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, can we close this? Can we close it? No. Alright, well, let's see. What's this egg? A fossilized dinosaur egg. But which came first? The egg, because chickens weren't invented yet. Though, I guess if a chicken's a dinosaur, the egg came first. My dear mother. I owe her so much. Approximately 12,000 pounds and a new gazebo. Okay. The turtle? My turtle lamp. I don't know why I shelled out for it. Oh, boy. Okay. This is going to be a pun thingy, isn't it? Oh, uh, boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to cough while laughing at the same time. <clears throat> All right. Well, I can't close the cabinet, which is annoying me, but whatever. Oh, there you are, Bertram. Oh, crap. Who's that? I don't have a gun. <laughs> Take your hat off. Oh, oh, you've been drinking. Okay. Uh. Foofy's carry basket. Yes. 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 I guess that's just to talk to him. Don't touch my knickknacks. <laughs> All right, well, can I drink some Is booze? Is the bottle of gin half full or half empty? Technically, it's empty. It, no, technically it's full because it also has air in it, but whatever. Bother some creature. Kill it. Oh, no. Okay. Talk to you then. Good morning, dear heart. 
It's nearly ten o'clock. I hardly call that morning. Haven't you got some adventuring to do? Alas, no. I have been looking, but I just can't find any expeditions worthy of my talents. Well, if you don't find something to adventure soon, I shall require that you find yourself a proper job. It's not that easy, my dear. You can't merely go outside and find yourself in a world full of unimaginable creatures. Adventure strikes when you least expect it. That as may be. I am accustomed to certain standards, Bertram. Being respectable costs money. Your mother agrees with me. She has mentioned there is a very respectable position at Mr. Dullsworth Soap Company, providing telegrammatic advertising. The hours are long and arduous, and the work repetitive and uninteresting. But you would receive a steady income, Bertram. My, my, is that the um? I really must be off. <gasps> Bertram, <gasps> caviar doesn't just grow on trees. There, there, my dear. Don't cry. I'm sure there is an adventure just around the corner. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. You have until the end of the day to find suitable employment, or I am calling Mr. Dullsworth. Oh, well, of course, my dear. Thank you, Bertram. Now. Could you do me a favour? Um. Well, I do have an appointment with Lord Arthwipe. For goodness' sake, Bertram! I don't like you running errands for a dreadful man. It's just not becoming. Now then, can you take Foofy to the groomery for me? It's on Groom Street. I. Uh, yes, of course, my dear. This is all very tiresome. I'm going to lie down. Now what was that about? Yes. I have captured countless species of wild animal. I'm sure I can manage a half-witted house pet. The secret is using the right bait. That will keep him quiet for a while. Oh, I can actually. It's lucky I have such spacious pockets. Now, what is this? Yes. Uh, I'll figure that out sooner or later, I guess. Mm -hmm. May I remind you that I possess immense strength, Mr. Fidel. Oh, that's yes. what you do. Be a good fellow and move this cabinet, Gavin. Certainly, sir. Ah, so he's the... So, when I need strength, he's the guy I go to. Alright, let's peek at this. Ooh, okay. Up to my knees in adventure in Africa. Just before I discovered the world's shortest river. Okay, that's nice. Back in 1878, I managed to hunt down and kill the majestic rhino bird. <clears throat> yes, um... Ah, ah, ah. It's bad luck to use an umbrella indoors, don't you know? I was actually going for the spear, but whatever. Okay, how about getting your hat and coat? No? No hat and coat? No? Alright. Okie dokie, it's time to go, I guess. The door is locked. What am I to do? You locked yourself inside. How can you lock yourself inside? I don't understand how you can lock yourself inside. Fits like a key. Literally. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> what a lovely day for a stroll. I wonder if I could sell the dog to the Why, pie people. There's hardly any drizzle at all. Hmm. There is a storm coming. <laughs> what a terrible little man. Oh. I never said sorry. He took uh he took the dog. Oh I see. He's bemuddled our bags up. 
He's not Foofy! Oh no. Rude He's man! Got, got Excuse foofy. me! Rude man! He's got Foofy! No! I have your bag! He's Why getting else? away! Going, mister? Boy, not fit. Okay, I didn't see that. This way, Gavin! This way, Gavin! I'm, I'm sorry! It. I say. I say! I say! Huzzah! I say! I say! How rude! What way, well, my man? This you way, mind. Gavin! Root, do you mind? Do you mind? He's slippery as a eel. Where are you going? Get, Get out, out of, of the way. way! We're catching him! I oh, say! Oh, pardon me! You should be more careful. I'm Get sorry, you, sir. You should be more careful. My good toe! Dick in you, sir! Should this be way, more Gavin! Careful. This way, Gavin! Oh, my dickens! My oranges! My lovely oranges! Uh, did we catch him? Ouch! Are you okay, sir? Hmm, maybe. What's this? It appears to be a nose. He lost his nose. He must have dropped it in his haste to scurry off into the shadows. That's not very interesting. Uh... You squashed me oranges! Me lovely orangey oranges! Not really. Don't touch me oranges! Can I touch your pickles? No? Alright. <laughs> Did you see a man? Have you seen a short, shadowy, sinister-looking chap scurry by? No, I'm afraid I haven't. Okay. Evening, Barbell! <clears throat> Did you see a suspicious, shadowy little man run by, perchance? I wish to return his bag. No, sir, I have not. You should ask that Sherlock Holmes, sir. He's a proper detective. You can find him in the Adventurers Club. Yes, yes, I know who he is. I'm quite the detective myself, you know. Blessed with a keen eye for detail. Let me have a look at that. Oh, look. A freak show is in town. The murder strikes again. Can anyone recover the identity of Victorians? Most blah, 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 blah. Can I look at the uh, case? No. That won't mix. All right, all right. Okay, well, I think this is about it for this area. Oh, I can't even go into the pickle shop. That sounds like a nice place to go. All right. Pickles and dills. Uh, did I just lose him? All right. Hmm, upgrade your mustache. A shilling? I'm not paying that. Huh. Your Majesty. And I'm assuming that's the Adventurers Club? The Adventurers Club! The finest collection of explorators in the world! You're not a member, are you? Psst! Over here! Emmelina Snoopsworth, reporter for the Evening Burble. Good day! Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator. Perhaps you've heard of me. Um, yes. Yes, of course I have. Maybe you can help me. Are you a member of the Adventurers Club? Indeed I am, madam. How may I be of service? I'm investigating the ghastly murderings that have been happening, and I want to interview Sherlock Holmes, but he's a very difficult man to get hold of. They won't even allow women in this ridiculous, outdated, backwards club. It's 1884, not the Middle Ages. Quite. As it happens, I'm going to see Sherlock Holmes now. Perhaps I can ask for you. That would be most helpful. If you learn anything about the recent murderings, do tell. Have you found out anything yet? I'm still conducting my investigation. Well, tell me as soon as you're done. Our readers demand news as soon as it happens. How do you do that?
Ugh. He looks a bit sickly. Oh, he's dead. What a glorious rhinoceros! You're an idiot. What a unique horn! But what sort of animal is it? A genuine Fijian mermaid! Although it does look a bit fishy. Oh, good evening, Mr. Fiddles. The usual. Yes, please. One can never have enough tea. Of course not. You need to have a cup on an adventure. That's just not... How do you do, Sir Grouchly? How do you think, Fiddle? Things haven't been the same since I lost my legs in Venice. Constant pain, Fiddle. Constant. Oh, I am sorry. That sounds terrible. You weren't there, man. You weren't there. Oh god, he's having flashbacks of Venice. The main attraction! Taking pride of place on the wall! Oh! Oh, oh. What an imposing pachyderm! His trunk is colossal! I'm afraid, Mr. Fiddle, you are not permitted into the gold members area. It is for A-list adventurers only. I've never been so outraged. I need to see Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Holmes has asked expressly not to be disturbed as he is working on the dreadful case of Jeff the Murderer. I have my own case I want to talk to him about. I'm afraid, Mr. Fiddle, you are not permitted into the gold members area. Mm, we'll have to figure out another way. That poor creature has not been mounted properly. It looks like it could fall down any minute. His antlers are as twisted as this mystery. 